What is up everyone? Andrew here, Venture TV. Just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of my layout when I am sight fishing for these redfish in the skinny. It is pretty straightforward, pretty basic, but I just wanted to give you guys um, you know, a quick little overview. And I got a couple tips for you as well. Um, to start out, I'm just going to show you what it's like when I'm traveling. Obviously, I keep one rod right here ready to go. Um, it sits there nicely. It's not in the way of anything, especially when I got this down and I'm pedaling somewhere. Um, sometimes these redfish, you know, it'll be so skinny that they'll actually be up along the shoreline. You can see them. They're back out of the water. But uh, so I just have the rod up here ready to go. Uh, ahead of that, I have my good mirrorless camera. It uh, takes a lot of good pictures, and then I'll get some good video with that as well and ahead of that i have my i have my boom with my uh, dji osmo action camera i have a internal battery inside there that is hooked up directly to the camera so the battery never runs out on the camera and then i have a i have a 200 i have a 256 gig chip in there as well and I'm shooting in 2.7K at 30 frames per second, and I never have to worry about that thing. It's just always recording, never misses anything, which is really nice. I originally had the boom mounted on this, but it was too close. I wanted to get more, uh, more of a wide angle at me, so I went ahead and added another one up there and just simply kept my uh, small boom here with my good camera. Uh, the camera's kind of out of the way. I have it pretty flush with the edge, so my push pull never hits it when I'm moving. And uh, yeah, inside I got my backpack. I also have a big battery in there um, for the sonar when I have that hooked up, which goes right here. It's just got a Garmin 7 inch screen, fits there nicely. Doesn't overhang the edge much, which is a, a big thing for me. And then I got the transducer, obviously, where the transducer goes. In the back, um, pretty straightforward. Extra rod, camera bag, water. Got the rudder in right now. I'm heading in right now, so that's why and that I just keep you know in reach and uh, Yeah, obviously I just have storage underneath here. I have a uh, Two one's all camera stuff and extra batteries And then the other one's all uh, you know, More shrimp and top water Odds and ends like that. They fit underneath here out of the way extra storage in here as well I threw my camera in there I put my phone in there sometimes plenty of storage got all the little stuff in there pro here sunscreen extra leader pliers I mean pretty pretty straightforward but the main thing I want to show you guys is once I get in the skinny I pop this up just pay attention to this try to keep this straight forward or up maybe a little forward even and once you lock this in what I do is I use that for my rod holder. So now I'm standing up, it lays flat. I don't have anything to worry about. It doesn't get caught on anything. And my push pull can swing from left to right easily and not get caught on the rod. And then I can easily bend down, put the rod, uh, the push pull down, grab my rod, make my cast at these redfish. That has been one key thing. Um, a lot of people have another rod holder and all this other stuff. I try to be as minimal as possible and that's been a huge thing for me and uh, I sometimes can get two rods up there and lay it just a little differently just if the fish are real finicky and I want two different uh, you know baits up here ready to go other than that don't really have much paddle push pole both Carlisle's it's like the 10 foot push pole this is the aluminum one I had one of those uh, Composite or carbon fiber ones as well. They're really nice. Ended up breaking though. Uh, yeah, but other than that, looks like I'm gonna get pushed up in these mangroves. Hopefully, you guys uh, can take a little bit of uh, information out of this and use it. I uh, the big thing for me is always having that rod ready to go. And uh, once it propped up in the skinny, again, just have the, this foot pedal straight up. And once you lock it in up there, it creates a nice little platform for it. That's been a that's been a big thing for me. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. As always, you know, please like and share these videos. Helps me out, and uh, I appreciate all the support, guys. Thanks.